they want it for themselves. It still works though, right? Exactly. It still works. Wow, wow. blood pressure is on point right now. It should be going to the wall here. Nice bash. Mix up time. Nice guess. Gets the break. Goes for the power crush right after. And no, uh, no one for anything right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't quite get the hit to from there. Forward, forward to Mac Punch. Punish. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, man. That wolf tail. Oh, but that's another drop. I think Brandon's getting nervous now. Yep. Uh oh. A little magic getting pushed to the wall right now. Yeah. Oh, needs to be careful. Yeah, great defense there. I like Lil Majin not swinging right there. Gorilla press slam, he's dead. Mm, that does so much damage. Good stuff from uh, Lil Majin. Like you said, not breaking them throws. I think Lil Majin's probably caught onto that. Mm -hmm. But that's typically what it is, right? Sometimes you fight players, and they're like, man, this guy's super buttonsy. Yeah. And it's because they don't know how to break throws, so they want their offense to like kind of make up for it. Exactly. And in this game as well, Tekken 7, which is the first second where you can actually counter hit from throws now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely a dangerous option. Oh, that was, hey, I didn't know what he was going for, but it looked kind of cheap. And that's something we saw so much at Evo. The down forward to counter hit confirm. He's so good at that. And a final round here potentially for Lil Marge to make it through with us. Make it quick work of Mr. Brandon. So far. Yep. Well, uh, oh, yeah, you got to punish. Brandon still playing at a really good range himself. Goes for the hatchet. Yeah. Gets the full walk right there. Mo Majin at the ready. He's not forward for one plus two. Keeping him in check. Ooh. The layoff push. Really close to the wall. One more. A few trades. I can say right now, Brandon.